What's up guys? I'm back here with another uh video for you guys to show you guys. I um I recently got a a box uh of goodies. Um Kino Lorber was making a the website was making a huge sale. Um usually their DVDs and Blu-rays run around around somewhere around twenty to thirty dollars. Most of them are like twenty seven bucks. And the sale was so good that I actually got them for about seven to ten bucks each so i ordered a shitload of them i there i think it was somewhere around 20 24 25 blu-rays that i got and um definitely worth it because if if you do the math it's gonna be a a, a lot of uh i did save a lot of money if you if, if you uh, you know if you run the math i saved a couple hundred bucks for sure so I just received the package today. Um, it was in a pretty big, uh, heavy box here. So I am ready to open this unboxing video for you guys, and um, I'm gonna show you guys what I what I picked up on this uh, purchase. So I'm gonna get my little uh, pinky over here to open up this box of goodies. See what we got here. Kino Kino Classics Kino Lorber is one of my favorite uh, companies. Um, I like Code Red. I like I like um, Screen Factory. I like Kino. Um, I like uh, Arrow Video is one of my favorites. Arrow's re really good company. Anyways, so yeah, this is a, a big box of a bunch of Blu-rays that I got here. It, it was a February sale. I don't know. I don't know if they do that once a year. Or I'm, not, I'm not too sure with with Kino, but this February was really nice. They, there was a lot of stuff for sale, and I jumped on it, and it was um it was anywhere from seven to ten bucks each, and I just you know I couldn't help myself um you know so without delaying this any longer, I am gonna start showing you guys what I got in this box of goodies on my Kino collection um my kino Lor lorber co collection so the first one i got here is no man's land with uh charlie sheen and uh, db sweeney and randy quaid this is a movie that i've seen a long time ago i had on regular on regular dvd but i i felt like I, it was time for an up upgrade and this was a 1987 action action pack movie um, classic 80s uh, with um, good old um, Charlie Sheen and stuff. Um, I, I can barely remember it, so I do have to give it another watch. But definitely, um, let me see, because there's a lot of glare on this freaking room I'm in right now. There's a, there's a window over there, and the glare is killing. And then the shrink wrap doesn't help either. But yeah, the cover is pretty cool. Totally 80s. This is Charlie Sheen when he was a... Uh, you know, when he was a stud, it says Orion, Orion Pictures. So, yeah, this is definitely a classic and definitely worth watching. Can't wait to see it. Next up, I have Tommy Lee Jones and the Park is Mine. This is another uh, uh, classic here from, from 1985. And Kino Lorber, you know, they do great stuff with all these classic movies. Um, really interesting to see this. Um, I think I believe Tommy Lee Jones was at, at um, World War Two or one of the, yeah World War Two, and he's a he's a war vet and he believes that the Central Park is his, so he takes the entire park hostage. And pretty interesting. I I really wanted to see this for from a very long time ago. It's been on my wish list for a while, and I finally got to own it for a pretty very cheap price, like cheaper than Amazon. You know, Kino did a great job at uh at uh doing this awesome sale. Here I got uh Sabata with uh Lee Van Cleef to uh, you know Western. You know, Lee Lee Van Cleef, Cleef is one of my favorites. And this is a Kino uh, 1969 classic. So I'm sure a lot of people have seen her, a lot of people haven't, but 
Um, I do remember it uh, vaguely as a, as a kid. And my dad would watch the, all these old classic um, westerns all the time. So, yeah, um, I can't wait to see this. And I got it for a fairly cheap price. I think, uh, I believe, I mean, they all range from seven to eight to nine bucks. So, I definitely had to pick up that. And this is the sequel, The Return to Sabato. So, now I got part, one's and, part one and part two. Um, not sure. I'm not sure which one is better. This one is from 1972. But um, Kino, Kino is amazing. Uh, you know, restoring these uh, classics and putting them out on DVD. Not too many companies, you know, are are as good as uh, as uh, Kino and Scream Factory. And you know, they don't they 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 treat us well with these uh cool releases. And, and like I'm telling you, this February sale from Kino was awesome. So. I did get a, a bunch of them. Here I got um another one. This one's called Rolling Vengeance. Look at that cover, man. How can you not buy a Blu-ray with that cover right there? It's freaking awesome. <clears throat> anyway, so it's, uh, it's a monster truck. Uh, monster truck action, uh, action horror movie, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen it. So it's from 1987. So I, I believe, like... Dude, everything from the 80s was so good, man. So it's like, I don't know. A powerful story of a twisted emotion and mangled mental metal. Uh, telling of which cost the lives of no less than 65 vehicles. So, yeah. So this is a really good movie. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if it's really good, but... I've been wanting to watch it for a very long time, and the same, oh wow, look, I just found out that the same director that directed The Park is Mine is also the director of Rolling Vengeance, which is Stephen Hillard Stern. Alright, cool to know that he directed two of the movies that I got. Then I got this one called Young Doctors in Love, and this is, an, look at that, look at that cover art. I mean, it's pretty badass. And um, this is from 1982, 96 minutes. You know, it's, you know, I mean, the special features aren't, they're not that much. as audio commentary by some of the cast members and trailer gallery. <clears throat> At least they got subtitles. Guys, I've had movies that, that have been released this year, 2018, and they still don't have sub subtitles on their on their dvd or blu-ray um options that is like so I, I don't know it's it's beyond dumb not to have subtitles but yeah so this one has subtitles and this is again this is 1982 it's called young doctors in love i've never seen it but it looks pretty interesting and yeah i got it for you know cheap price again kino you they should make the sale once they should they should definitely make it more often. I don't know how often they make it, but it'll be awesome if they make it every, every month. <laughs> Anyways, um, then I got here this, uh, looks like a cheesy 70, uh, 1976 action, uh, whatever. It's called Vigilante Force. And look at that cover. It's totally 70s. And I, I can't wait to see on it. I, I'm going to be on the TV all, all, all week. My girl's going to kick me out of the house. She's going to be bored as hell with me watching all these old classic movies. And, um, so Vigilante Force looks like a typical 70s, uh, cheesy action movie. <clears throat> um, what else do I got here? I got a horror movie here from MGM. Kino Release. And this one's called Night Kill. I don't know if you guys have seen that one. But it looks pretty cool. It's also from 1980, and um, never seen none of these movies, but I mean, like, the cover art is awesome, and what, you can't go wrong with an 80s horror film with that cover, and for the price I paid for them, amazing, um, like, again, Kino, you're, Kino's awesome, Kino Lorber, um, then I got The Will Be, The Will Be Conspiracy, with Sidney Poitier and Michael Caine. 
I don't know if you guys have seen this movie before, but I haven't. And um, this is a little bit older. This is from 1975. But um, I do believe that uh, Michael Keane is a great actor, and I'm pretty sure that this is uh, a pretty good movie. Um, you know, it's, you know, I I don't think Michael Keane has done a bad movie, or maybe he has, but I haven't seen it. So anyways, I'm, I'm really fascinated by all these releases, guys. I'm so happy that February was a great month for uh, for sales. I don't know why, but that's like almost, that's Keno's month for uh, sale. This is another Western I picked up. And it's called Three Bad Men. You know, if you guys have seen this movie, I don't know what, I, what I'm getting myself into, but I, do, I did pick this up, and this is... A bit, bit old, and um, directed by John Ford. We're looking at a classic western movie that it's in black and white, and it was in 1926. This, yes, guys, this this western is from 1926. So this is an old shit movie. I'm wondering if it's any good or not, but I'm definitely gonna give it a watch. And, um, yeah, so, it's not rated, and it looks pretty interesting, black and white movie, 1926, wow. Here we got, uh, Christopher Reeves in The Aviator, and, um, this, this is probably, like, the, the original Aviator, 1985, um, yeah, they 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 re not recently, but the the Leonardo DiCaprio one would be the um, the remake of this one. So yeah, here we got Christopher Reeves and the Aviator, and um, it's 1985. I haven't seen it. I gotta watch it. Like most of these movies, I have not seen, so therefore I don't know what to tell you if they're good or not. But all these movies look really really good, and Kino does a good job with the transfers. So I, I don't I don't have any doubt in my mind that it's gonna have a good visual uh look to it. But um as far as the storyline of the movie or if the movie's good or but you can't go wrong with Christopher Reeves. Um and um yeah, so this is uh the aviator. Next up I got Baby Secret of the Lost Legend and this looks like a pure awesomeness um imagine this uh this is 1985 and we're looking at uh dinosaurs dinosaur movie from 1985 you can't go wrong with that guys i had to once i saw that cover art i had to get it and um so th this is what it's about look at those 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 pics right there i mean it's gotta be good no matter how bad it is if it's bad it'll be cheesy but it'll be funny and you know, I definitely gotta watch this, baby. Um, it's with William Cat, Sean John, and Patrick McGoohan. Um, 1985, rated PG. I'm telling you guys, I went crazy ordering this. So this this unboxing is gonna take a long time because it's it's badass. So here, this one's from Code Red, and I guess Kino has a. There's a couple of movies with a uh, Code Red, which Code Red is another of my um, favorite uh, movie companies out there. And this one's called Being Different. Now, this is a weird ass movie, and I can't wait to pop it open and watch it, give it a watch. But look at this guy, man. This guy's like, yeah, he's different, all right. So they say this is the true story of a modern day elephant man. And um, as much as it. It, they say it's a true story. I'm not sure. I haven't made the research on it, but if it is, it's it's pretty messed up. It's yeah, well, it's narrated by Christopher Plummer, so it might it could be a documentary of people that look different. Yeah, they got people with missing legs and people with that tumor on their face, and you know, people that have a uh, uh, you know other human oddities like. Just, you know, people being with missing arms and, you know, so this should be interesting to watch. Um, it is not rated and 
it runs at a hundred minutes. So yeah, it's a it basically is a true story or a documentary, I guess. I haven't seen it yet, but it sounds like it's a documentary about people that have, you know, defects and their you know, their everyday struggle with life and how it is to be different. Here we got Barton Fink. I remember that poster when I used to go to video stores. Um, they would have it, like, you know, outside in display. I've never seen this movie, but if I have, it was a long time ago. So it's uh, John Turturro and um, John Goodman. And this is a film by the Coen brothers, Joel, Joel Coen and Ethan Coen. And yeah, I mean, I can't wait to watch this. This is from 1991. Um... So I really, I really got to jump into all of these and start watching them ASAP as soon as possible, people. I need the time. I need the time. I need the time. Anyways, here we got Sally Fields and Tommy Lee Jones in a movie called Backroads. Now, I don't know what this is about. It looks like it's a, uh, it looks like it's a romance comedy with Tommy Lee Jones in it. And um, it's from 1981, CBS Blu-ray release. Pequino's uh, putting it out there. And this is a young Sally Field and a young Tommy Lee Jones. And God knows what can happen there. But definitely, it deserves a watch. Again, guys, I did not pay full price for these. They were on a big time sale at 7 8 9 10 bucks each. Here I got a movie, another movie by Michael, with Michael Caine in it, young Michael Caine, and it's called Blame It on Rio. Here we go, Blame It on Rio. This looks like it's a crazy, wild, uh, party, party, uh, you know, like one of those party, uh, 19, 1984 party movies that, um, Blame It on Rio, God knows what happened to them in Rio de Janeiro which is in Brazil, and um, I haven't seen it, so I gotta give it a watch, let you know, let you guys know later on how good or how bad it was, here I got with Noah Ryder and Luca Ho Luca's house, and a movie called Boys, John C. Riley's also in it, and Skeet Ulrich, and this is from 1996, so this isn't that old, and it's called Boys. Um, I don't remember watching this. If I have, I totally forgot and I need to watch it again. But definitely deserves a watch. And for the price that I got it for, why not? And uh, 1996, 86 minutes. I'm a, I'm a big Winona Ryder fan. I think she's a good actress. I think she's hot. So let's see how that goes. Then I got Farrah Fawcett, one of the sexiest girls back in the day. Um, and this one's called The Burning Red, The Burning Bed. And I have never seen this, and I haven't heard much from this. Another Kino, these are all released by Kino. Uh, 1984, um, it looks like, from the pictures, it looks like it's a bad, a, a romance gone, gone wrong, you know, maybe a passion crime type of, th type of movie or, you know, but it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I can't wait to watch these. I'm telling you, I need all the time in the world. I don't know if my girl's going to let me watch these because I'm going to be stuck like glue to the TV and she's going to want to go out and I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I do really want to see all of these as soon as I can because these are the movies that I like. All these new movies that come out are like, yeah, whatever. But movies from the 80s, there's something about those movies of the, the, the 80s that it it's... The magic, the feel, the acting, the storylines, the plot, it's so, they're so original. Now, what you see nowadays is mostly the same shit over and over. I'm not bashing the new movies. New movies are okay, but these these classics are awesome, man. And a lot of people don't watch them because, I don't know, they're cheesy or because, I don't know. But they look bad, I don't know. But thanks to the power of Blu-ray and companies like Kino and Screen Factory and Arrow Video... These movies are getting recognized more and more. So here I got Charles Bronson in a movie called Cabo Blanco. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this this is a movie from 1980. And me being a good 
uh, Charles Bronson fan. Um, I had to pick this up for the price that it was. I don't recall ever seeing this. Um, looks like an action drama. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of action going on, but it could be, it could be like a, it, it, it definitely, by the cover, it looks like a crime action thriller drama, you know? So that one's called Cabo Blanco. Then I got another one here called Freeway. And that cover is badass. I had to get it. Some some of these movies I just get get it from get them for the cover art. I know it sounds stupid, but damn, it's 1988 action. You can't go wrong with a 1987, 88, 89 action movie. Those movies are all always gonna be really, really fantastic. So I can't wait to give this one a watch. This one's called Freeway. Never seen it. Um says the, the traffic is murder. <laughs> And it is rated R, so you know what you're getting yourself into. And, um, yeah. So, definitely can't wait to watch Freeway. I got another one called Hidden Agenda. And this one, it is Murder, Torture, Corruption. The truth can never be buried. Inspired by actual events. And it stars Francis McDormand, Brian Cogs. Brad Dourif and Mai Zetterling. And um yeah, this one's this is nineteen ninety and it it should it definitely needs a I need to watch this. I don't know which one I'm gonna watch first out of all of these or what order am I gonna use, but definitely this is another code red release. Um this one's called the Hot Touch. And it's a Code Red release, and it runs at 92 minutes. It has a couple of uh, special features, interview with the producer, a brand new HD scan of the original Vault Elements. So, you know, and it's not rated. Um, yeah, so it's called The Hot Touch. I'm not too sure. It looks like, you know, there's a lot of nudity going on in there, but I guess we'll find out when I watch it. Oh, this one I've seen before. This one's really good. It's really fun, really funny. But I had to upgrade it to a... Um, I, I believe I have it on, on regular DVD back here. But um, this is on Blu-ray. It's called... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get you, sucker. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Um, and um, it's, it's, it's really memorable. It's really good, really funny, really... The action here is awesome. 1988. And um, I remember watching this as a kid. I watched it recently, and this is a really good movie. Um, highly recommend it. It's funny. I'm gonna get you, sucker. I'm trying to say that as good as I can. This is another Code Red release, and this one's called Last Plane Out. And this is, uh, I really don't know what this is about, but it looks it looks pretty good from the back of this, as you can see. It looks like it's on a uh, the settings in a prison and um either a prison or or an army camp base anyways um i'm probably going to watch this first because i'm i'm on a i'm i'm recently on a cold red high and i'm re i'm really digging cold red this is a i like those um uh, those spine that the have the number this is 109 i'm going to try to complete the collection of cold red which I only have like about 20 or 30 of them, but I'm gonna try my best to like start ordering a bunch of code reds. And then this is by MGM. This one's called The Mercenary. There we go. Uh, I've never seen this. Um, Jack Pounds and Giovanna Rally. And um, so it's a Western, 1968 Western with Jack Pounds in it. So you know it's got to be good. I mean, it can't you can't go wrong with this. Um, can't wait to see that. And finally, whew, the last one. I'm throwing the damn box away already. Um, finally, the last one. This one's with Anthony Edwards, Mar and Mayor Winningham. It's called The Miracle Mile. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these movies. I've never seen this. This is from 1989, and it has a bunch of uh. Audio commentary with the director. Um, 
a couple of um, editing room editing room deleted scenes outtakes bloopers so this one does have a bunch of features and it's called uh, Miracle Mile and there you go that's the back of it and um, totally worth watching so this is it guys this is all the, the movies that I ordered there was uh, 26 in total so yeah I, I, I did spend a pretty penny on the on these but it was so worth it like I'm telling you guys I saved so much money on these and they're all you know Kino 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 Lorber awesome awesome stuff um I can't say anything anything bad about them they know how to treat their there we go so many of them so I think the first one I'm probably gonna watch like I said would probably be the last plane out because it's from Code Red and it's interesting like I you know it's like an army it's like an action-packed movie and it's from my favorite era which is the uh, 1980 or 80 something 89 so definitely worth watching and um, I hope you guys liked my unboxing um, I had I had fun ordering these I didn't have fun paying for them but it was worth um, the price for all of these and um, hopefully they do make some future sales like this and I'm as long as they keep on making these sales I'm gonna keep on buying these blu-rays because they're they're a really decent price and let's see let's see what the future holds I'll let you guys know whether these movies were good or not as soon as I finish watching them hopefully I, I get the time to watch these because I have so much going on right now but anyways Hope you guys like this video, and I hope you liked this unboxing, and I hope you liked all these movies, and I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.